How you doing, everybody? Um, I think it's uh, Saturday, April 4th. Had dinner, and uh, quite honestly, April 4th is just like April 2nd, and probably the same as April 6th will be. Um, all days are pretty much the same, so uh, are we bored? Yeah. Um, I'd like to be doing more than I'm doing, but uh, it's great to be able to spend some time with you, and uh, just uh, get together. Um, funny because um, somebody a couple of days ago got in touch with me and said, why don't you spend more time doing these videos and uh, get them really, really great. Get the performances great. Get the singing great, the guitar playing great. I said, because the people I'm doing it for know that's not what it's about. This isn't a performance. It's not a concert. It's not a recital. It's me and you hanging out. And that means that, uh, uh, is it perfect? Hell no. But uh, we get to have some fun. I get to have some fun. Um, with that in mind, uh, while we're doing this, we should all remember that uh, there are doctors, hospital workers, um, sanitation people, police, uh, people in supermarkets, delivery people. All these people are making, um, is possible for us and and some of them are under horrific conditions and uh, really trying to keep their heads above water and in a real dangerous situation the people in the hospitals working uh, don't have what they need and um, yet they do it so uh, my prayers for all of them and let's not forget about those people um, so I was wondering what would I do now? What could we do? And I thought maybe I'll play some, just some riffs, play some little guitar parts, and uh, you can sing if you want. Um, you're in the band. Um, if you know the parts of the song, sing along. It's just us, you, me, and I don't know, 200,000 people, 300,000 people, whatever it is. Um, so we can have some fun and uh, I'll try to pull something out of the old memory bank and let's see what we get. He's thinking. You hear that buzz? Whoa! Cool. <laughs> Okay, let's see what else. Um, we got making love. Um, uh, okay, um, let's try. Um, hotter than hell.
didn't know where to go towards the end of the song, so I came up with this riff. See? Mistakes. Let's see what else. This is my thinking face. Um, how about, okay, a little story. When uh, I was about 17, 18 years old, I was spending a lot of time at Electric Lady Studios. It's Jimi Hendrix's studio, and it was a magical, magical recording studio. Two studios going 24-7, um, always great people in the studio. Zeppelin might be in one room, uh, Jeff Beck in another, uh, sometimes Stevie Wonder, sometimes the band called Mountain with Leslie West, great guitar player, Mississippi Queen, you can check that out. Um, and uh, I remember them mixing uh, performance, which was Rockin' the Fillmore, Humble Pie's album, live album. And Humble Pie was one of my favorite bands. Steve Marriott, probably uh, if not the greatest, one of the greatest front men. Great singer, great guitar player, uh, great rhythm player, and a great, great front man, uh, preacher. So uh, around that same time, there was a, a band being mixed there, a band called Boomerang. There was a, a band called Vanilla Fudge. They did a song called You Keep Me Hanging On. Um, really pretty killer, killer band. Anyway, um, some of the members, uh, when they split up, formed a band called Boomerang, and they did a, a song by Wilson Pickett. Wilson Pickett um, did um, uh, Midnight Hour, Mustang Sally. He was a, a really cool, really cool R&B soul singer. And he also did a song called 98, um, no, actually, it was 99, and a half just won't do. And uh, I don't remember what their version sounded like, but the, the vibe stayed with me and I wrote a song and the song was uh, probably somewhere between uh, the Humble Pie stuff I was hearing and uh, 99 and a half just won't do. Uh, and that song was got to choose. <laughs> These are awesome songs. Now, am I giving myself a pat on the back? Not really. I love these songs like you love these songs because luckily for me, I'm not only a member of the band, I'm a real fan of the band and I love uh, a lot of the music we've done. And uh, do I hear 
my influences, my inspirations in what I do. Yeah. And that for me is part of the beauty of it is carrying it forward. Um, so many great bands I saw. Um, I saw Jimi Hendrix with Noel Redding and Mitch Mitchell twice. I saw Led Zeppelin. I saw The Who, all these bands in the, in the 60s. And um, I was also lucky enough to see Otis Redding. I saw Solomon Burke. I saw The Temptations, uh, John Lee Hooker. Um, lots and lots of great music. So uh, is it all in that pot, so to speak, and been stirred up? Yeah, that's, that's what my writing is about. Um, so uh, where do we go from here? I don't know, in any sense, musically uh, or day to day. So I'm gonna call it a, a night here, but again, uh, I urge everybody here to listen to the experts. Uh, do their directives towards you and me change? Yes. Uh, even the experts don't have the answer. They're searching for it. And uh, as more studies come in and as more time goes by, they learn more. So uh, do their recommendations and, and do their instructions change? Yeah. Um, yesterday it was no mask, today it's a mask. Well, so be it, because uh, they're on the, the front line of this, and they seem to certainly have the best, uh, not only intentions, but they have the best information. So um, listen to them. Listen to them, not only for your benefit, but for mine, because what each one of us does will uh, impact and affect each one of us. So um, you want to get through this and you want to come through it unscathed. I think we, uh, we're doing pretty good so far, but when I see people out and uh, acting like it's not going to be them, it well could be. And if not, I sure as hell don't want it to be me. So uh, that's going to be it for tonight. Thanks so much and uh, take care of yourselves. And I'm so glad to spend some time with you.